COVID is with us forever, maybe. Go out or stay in. No one seems to agree how contagion can be controlled. Yet the government's message at best is too vague, scarcely testing, nor tracing, nor tracking this plague, which seems mainly to target the old. When you think of this scandal, the pulse fairly quickens. As ministers blunder, the populace sickens. But behind this parade of dumb, headless chickens, there's a man with a plan. You see, the plot thickens. Say, tatty bye to your granny. Cummings wants her to die. She's old and quite useless with skin like papyrus. So send her aloft with the aid of her virus. There's a shortage of care homes. She won't get a place. So if you feel poorly, just cough in her face. She is better off dead than alive. Yes, she is. For fuck's sake, she's 65. Bid fond farewell to your grandpa. Coming says he's got to go. He's fast turning into a drain on the state. The cost of his pension and meds is too great. Most pensioners must be dispatched with impunity. So the country can build up a strong herd immunity. A clear out of boomers is due, better still. He might leave his money to you. So come, fellow codgers, accept it. of endless confinement is bleak. It could be a plus if we're gone by next week. We've lived lives of ease, contentment and bonhomie, but we're rather too numerous, so we drain the economy. It's time we were all got rid of, oh, that's because we have nothing to offer but love. You can't sell it. Nothing to offer but love, which is worthless. Nothing, no.